Section 1. Listening Comprehension In this section of the test, you will have an opportunity to demonstrate your ability to understand conversations and talks in English. There are three parts to this section. Answer all the questions on the basis of what is stated or implied by the speakers you hear. Do not take notes or write in your test book at any time. Do not turn the pages until you are told to do so. Part A. In Part A, you will hear short conversations between two people. After each conversation, you will hear a question about the conversation. The conversation and questions will not be repeated. After you hear a question, read the four possible answers in your test book and choose the best answer. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer you have chosen. Listen to an example. On the recording, you hear, What are you doing there? Nothing. I was just wondering if there are any trout in here. What does the woman mean? In your test book, you read, A. She doesn't expect that there is any pickerel. B. She tells the man to catch the fish. C. She is Wonder Woman. D. She wants to know the truth. The sample answer is A. You learned from the conversation that the man wanted to know what the woman is doing. The woman stated that she is surprised about the trout or pickerel. Therefore, the best answer is A. She doesn't expect that there is any pickerel. Now, begin work on the questions. Number 1. What do you think of the food there? As far as I can tell, it's different from our food, of course. Some are quite nice, but many give me a stomach ache. What does the man mean? Number 2. I have a problem with my school assignment. Could you help me? My pleasure. What does the woman mean? Number 3. Can you come to my house at 4 this afternoon? I'm afraid I can't. I'm going shopping at that time. What about at 6? What does the woman imply? Number 4. If I were you, I would rather not go with John. He is a careless driver. You are right. He usually drives a car very quickly. What does the man mean? Number 5. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have your book. You're nuts. I need to study for the test. What does the woman probably feel? Number 6. How many children does Martha have? The oldest is 5. The second is 3. And the last one is 1 year old, I think. What does the woman imply? Number 7. Hello, how are you? Hi, I can't accept it. What does the man mean? Number 8. <clears throat> My throat is killing me. It hurts. You better stop your smoking habit. What does the woman suggest? Number 9. Do you know what the meaning of corruption is? Well, I'm not sure about it. Sorry. What does the man imply? Number 10. Do you know that the most clever animals after man are the chimpanzees? I don't think so. Dolphins are more clever than these big apes. What does the man mean? Number 11. Have you seen the new Walt Disney movie? Sure, it's so wonderful. What does the woman mean? Number 12. I heard that you got into an accident. Can you tell me how it happened? Forgive me. I can't remember what happened at that time. What does the man mean?
Number 13. I'm not working now. What time will you be back? About five, but I will ring you if there are any problems. What does the man imply? Number 14. Is Kevin coming tonight? He didn't say, but if he calls me, I'll invite him. What does the woman imply? Number 15. Look at the time. I'll miss the bus unless I go now. Okay, bye. I'll see you when I get home. What does the man mean? Number 16. If I pass a supermarket, I'll buy you some strawberries and meals. That's great. What does the man mean? Number 17. The weather is so hot today, isn't it? Oh, I don't think so. What does the woman mean? Number 18. Will you go to your hometown? Yes, I'll fly there tomorrow after I leave my car in your house. What does the man mean? Number 19. What exactly do I want to do in this presentation? I'm so nervous. Calm down and relax. What does the woman suggest to the man? Number 20. Those strange men are looking at us now. Well, it is not safe here. What does the man probably do? Number 21. Good morning. Can you help me? Good morning, sure. Wow, you look terrific today. What does the woman mean? Number 22. As far as we know, the headmaster is going to add more classes in this school. Well, it should be discussed with the student's parents first. What does the man imply? Number 23. How long did you stay there? I stayed there from April 2nd until the 8th. What does the woman mean? Number 24. Did you speak French when you were in France? Most of the time. What does the woman mean? Number 25. By the way, the class has already started. Yes, let's go to class. What does the man probably do? Number 26. Are you still taking a computer course in that place? I still have to study there for the next three months. What does the woman imply? Number 27. Nice party, isn't it? Very much. What does the man imply? Number 28. Hi, how are you doing? Not bad at all. What does the woman imply? Number 29. Do you know Olive? She is my best friend since we were kids. What does the man imply? Number 30. That's a lovely rose, isn't it? It certainly is. What does the man mean? Part B. In this part of the test, you will hear longer conversations. After each conversation, you will hear several questions. The conversations and questions will not be repeated. After you hear a question, read the four possible answers in your test book and choose the best answer. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer you have chosen. Remember, you are not allowed to take notes or write in your test book. Now, begin work on the questions. Questions 31 through 32. Listen to a talk between two people. 
I didn't sleep at all last night because I had to take care of my father. He was in the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Number 31. What had happened with the woman's father? Number 32. What does the man imply? Questions 33 through 34. Listen to a talk about food. Mmm, it sounds nice. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten it? No, I don't like the taste. I like seafood better. Do you? It's the opposite with me. I don't like seafood at all. I am allergic. Number 33. What does the man hate? Number 34. Why does the woman hate seafood? Questions 35 through 36. Listen to a talk between two people. How was the movie last night? We thought that we had prepared everything. I had bought the tickets two days before. I had phoned my cousin to accompany me. However, as soon as we arrived at the cinema, we realized that we had left the tickets at home, so we couldn't see the movie. Number 35. Who did accompany the woman to the cinema? Number 36. Why did the woman fail to see the movie? Questions 37 through 38. Listen to a talk between two people. Dick, the tap is not leaking anymore. Did you fix it? I need to wash these dishes. I got the plumber to fix it yesterday. It is probably okay right now. Check it. Number 37. Who fixed the tap? Number 38. Who asked the plumber to fix the tap? Part C. In this part of the test, you will hear several talks. After each talk, you will hear some questions. The talks and questions will not be repeated. After you hear a question, read the four possible answers in your test book and choose the best answer. Then, on your answer sheet, Find the number of the question and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer you have chosen. Here is an example. On the recording you hear, listen to a talk about the capital town of Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur offers all kinds of activities, foods, shopping centers, museums, parks, and a local theater. There is also a federal government center in Putrajaya which is located south of Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur has a modern infrastructure like KLIA, Kuala Lumpur International Airport. Now listen to a sample question. What does Kuala Lumpur offer? In your test book, you read A. Kinds of food and fashion B. A great hotel and park C kinds of activities and a shopping center. D. A modern airport and harbor. Sample answer. C. The best answer to the question, what does Kuala Lumpur offer, is C. The answer is based on the beginning. Therefore, the correct choice is kinds of activities and a shopping center. Now listen to another sample question. Where is Putrajaya's location? In your test book, you read A. South of Kuala Lumpur B. The center of Kuala Lumpur C. North of Kuala Lumpur D. West of Kuala Lumpur Sample answer A. The best answer to the question, where is Putrajaya's location, is A. The answer is based on the middle of the talk. Therefore, the correct choice is South of Kuala Lumpur A. Now, begin work on the questions. Questions 39 through 41. Listen to a talk about the Graduate Center. 
The historic building, built in 1888, also known as the Graduate Center, provides graduate students with a range of facilities and support. This includes 24-hour access to the building for all enrolled in this university's graduate program, study corrals, each equipped with a desk, computer, phone, lockable cupboards, and a filing cabinet, a print room, a meeting room, computer facilities and laboratories, a language and learning skill advisor, disabled access and facilities, social spaces, including the loft and kitchens, and a bar and cafe open throughout the year. Number 39. What is the name of the building that was built in 1888? Number 40. What does the building provide? Number 41. How often is the building open? Questions 42 through 46. Listen to a talk about fishes. Fishes take in water all the time. The water flows in through the mouth, over the gills, and out through the sides of the head. When a fish takes in water, it is not drinking, but breathing. The gills absorb oxygen from the water. The body of fish is made up of the head, the trunk, and the tail fin. There are many different kinds of fishes that have many different shapes and colors. Some fishes are long and thin, while others are flat and rounded. Most fishes have bodies that are broad at the trunk region and narrow towards the head and the tail. Number 42. What is the topic of the talk? Number 43. What do the fishes do in water? Number 44. Where do the gills absorb oxygen? Number 45. What makes up the fish's body? Number 46. How do you usually differentiate one fish from another? Questions 47 through 50. Listen to a talk about smoking risks. Cigarette smokers are said to have a good chance of getting various fatal diseases. Other people's tobacco smoke seems to increase the chances of non-smokers getting a wide range of cancers. Although passive smokers inhale less tobacco smoke, the researchers point out that the smoke they breathe in is richer in many toxic chemicals. Besides, the risk of getting cancers not normally associated with smoking also rose among passive smokers. The risk of leukemia rose six to eight times, and the risk of cervical cancer increased three to four times. Number 47. What is an example of fatal diseases? Number 48. What do the researchers point out about the passive smokers related to the toxic chemicals? Number 49. How many times has the risk of leukemia risen? Number 50. How many times has the risk of cervical cancer risen? This is the end of exercise section 1.